this is my latest book published in 2019 it was also published by sharat book distributors or levant books levant books from kolkata this book let me tell about this book about this volume has been written on the back cover page let me read this see this this volume is the outcome of a recently concluded project work sponsored by the indian council of social science research icssr under the ministry of human resource development government of india new delhi the empirical study was conducted in three culturally and regionally distinct states of india such as tamil nadu rajasthan and west bengal the main objective of the author is to examine the status and position of women in three women headed states the 17th 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment acts have statutorily reserved one third seats for women in three tier panchayats and municipalities in india but how far after a quarter century of the enactment of the twin constitutional acts women have become agents of affirmative change in local government bodies to what extent do they participate in the local decision making bodies and do they really enjoy any decision making power in these bodies or someone else control the affairs from remit these are some issues which the author intends to study how far women's empowerment has been ensured in local bodies is still a matter of debate in academic discourse and policy decisions whether gender empowerment through participation is still a myth or a reality is the subject of this volume the present study examined extensively the state of affairs and observed women's de facto level of participation and empowerment the study is an eye opener to the students and practitioners of gender studies however drawing on an extensive field work interaction with a wide range of people and studying a rich variety of literature on women's participation and empowerment in political process and especially in local governments this volume draws some findings and extends some strong and concrete policy prescriptions for actualization of gender empowerment and sustainable development of india this book has a unique feature there uh, is a foreword and the foreword has been remit written by professor anith jimar she is from she is actually from uh, germany she teaches in institute for politic wisenskraft university of monster this is a very old university and she wrote this foreword on july 23rd 2017 see this this is the foreword written by professor anith jimar i would like to read a few words from her foreword 
she wrote that the study authored by Dr. Keshav Chandra Mondal provides a fascinating and telling picture of the state of the art of women's empowerment in India. Although empowerment of women has been on the agenda for Indian politics for many years and although there are many policies and programs especially earmarked for women that try to support women in their struggle to get ahead, progress is slow, if not microscopic as clearly documented by the results of the study. And the last, in the last chapter she wrote, the results of the empirical study reveal that despite the fact that opportunity structures for women's participation have significantly improved during the last decades, especially at the local level, traditional role models are still very much in place. Hence, the social fabric significantly stands in the way of a further advancement of women. Although the research was conducted in India, its results are very similar to studies conducted in other parts of the world. Also, the reasons why women are both less present in public life and less outspoken than men are very much the same around the world. Accordingly, the recommendations suggested by Dr. Mondal are not restricted to India. Instead, they are relevant for the policy makers in many countries. Finally, the author directly addresses the worldwide community of women. He tells us, change your mindset and stop wishing to lead a life depending on dot 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 fathers, husbands, or other male earning guardians and develop instead an independent personality or to put it much simpler, take your chance and get on your feet. This was her uh, parting sentence. However, this book actually uh, is a uh, is the result of my uh, research project I conducted in three Indian states, Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, and West Bengal. When I conduct, when I started doing this study in 2015, all the three states were headed by three women chief ministers, and uh, I wanted to see how women are uh, enjoying uh, empowerment or status and power in women dominated states. But my observation is that uh, women in both rural and urban areas in these three states are not much empowered than their counterparts in um, male dominated states. I mean male leadership where the male chief ministers are there. It means women are women. They are in uh, that uh, shabby position, whatever may be the condition of the state, whosoever may be, the, uh, may be at the helm of the governance. That is my observation. And at the end, I have provided many suggestions for empowerment of women. Uh, which were based on uh, my field study. I spoke with uh, uh, more than 500 people in three states, including academicians, uh, political leaders, MLS, MPs, uh, BDOs, SDOs, district magistrates, and uh, many teachers. And uh, finally, my observation with political leaders, particularly at the rural, at the local level, both in municipality and panchayat levels, 
give a, uh, a concrete idea about the local government system in India. I hope that those who are uh, planning or intending to know about the status of women in local governments, I think this is the only book which will help you a lot, which will help you to, uh, to understand or to comprehend the status of women as a whole uh, in the 21st century in India. Thank you. Thank you.